Hello friends, I'm Sanjay Tiyadi. Welcome back to my channel Marina Sanjay. In today's video, I'm going to interview one of my friend, Kenneth Ritik Yadav. I would like to inform you, he is currently pursuing B.Tech Marine Engineering in Tulani Madam Institute and he is currently in final year, I mean fourth year. He got his placement in the second year itself and he is placed in Musk Tankers, no doubt. It is one of the biggest company and the best company in the world. So he has also been a university topper and he is consistently maintaining his first rank in our institute. Apart from this, guys, apart from this, he's been good in various kinds of sports and co-curricular activities. Apart from this, I would like to inform you, he has been giving various kind of leadership roles in our institute for all the events. Yes, guys. Let me introduce my friend Kadet Ritik Yadav. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So my first question to Ritik Yadav is, why did you join Merchant Navy? Uh, well, what I think is that before choosing a career, uh, before fixating on a single career path, you should uh, look at various options, which are always uh, not, uh, we should not limit ourselves. We should look at all the different career options that are available. So I just simply went to Google and uh, took out a list of various careers. So I found a flowchart which divided streams into various jobs and careers that you could take after that. So after getting getting that uh, flowchart, I started eliminating the careers that did not uh, suit my skill set or did not uh, match with what I wanted with life. So after eliminating uh, all of that, a few careers were left. Among them, Merchant Navy was one. Then uh, I also thought of going to the Indian Army. But uh, because of a few medical reasons, I could not join the Army. So after that, the next best thing that I found for myself uh, that included uh, all my skill set and suited my personality was Merchant Navy. So hence I'm here. So is there a, currently someone in your family who is in Merchant Navy or you are the first one in, from your uh, family? No, in my family, uh, I don't have any background of uh, anyone uh, in Merchant Navy. Uh, I came to know about Merchant Navy through uh, Google. As I mentioned, I looked at various career paths and Merchant Navy was one of them. So I started studying about it and started searching on Quora what it actually is and what the job profile is like. So Ritik, can you please let me know like, what are the best colleges for B.Tech Marine Engineering according to you? Okay, according to me, a few good colleges would be to Rally Madam Institute or uh, IMU Kolkata and there's Rag Mumbai also. There, there are a few good colleges you can go. Okay. And the next question is, can you please give me a few information about Mass Tangles? No doubt, we already know that it is one of the biggest company in the world, but can you please give me detailed information? Okay, uh, Musk Tankers was initially a part of the Musk family, but uh, in 2016 they separated from Musk and uh, Musk Tankers has, was formed as a different company. Okay, but uh, last year uh, Musk Tankers, uh, the technical management of Musk Tankers has been taken over by Synergy. Musk Tankers they themselves have around 220 ships. Okay, most of them are oil tankers and uh, it's a big company and now it is being managed by Synergy. So let's hope for the best. Okay. Can you please let me know uh, the procedure of like how you got placed in Mars Tankers? Like, okay. Uh, the placement procedure, uh, it, various, it, it involves various steps. Okay. The initial first step would be the shortlisting by the college. So for that, you have to have a minimum grade, minimum CGPA in the college and a minimum like uh, said by percent marks in class 12th. So the first criteria would be shortlisting by the college. And after that, we have an uh, LINPA test. The LI test is basically logical thinking. So it involves questions uh, regarding sequences and finding patterns. So it's it's around uh, 50 questions in 12 minutes. Okay. Uh, then you have the PI, that is a predictive index. So that is mostly, that uh, has two questions. Okay. Uh, the first question would be how you would define yourself. And it has around 50 to 60 words. You have to select a few words that describe you. And the second question is how others would describe you. Okay, so it's a personal uh, personal index. 
and it uh, basically tells you tells the company about your personality about what kind of a person you are and uh, then after the lib test there's there's another short listing so the final round is the interview okay we have the interview with technical and personal interview both are taken together and after that we have the the final list comes on the basis so this was the step by step process but how you prepared yourself for interview like what questions were asked in interview and exams okay uh, for the interview basically i initially uh, contacted my seniors who were placed in the in the same company and uh, seniors who were placed in the other company asked them about all common questions i are asked so i started preparing my personal questions earlier only like uh, tell me something about yourself i wrote down my answer properly and i made it by heart okay so i introspected myself uh, basically you know i just sat for a night and introspected myself wrote down a few points that like things i would like to tell others about myself okay things that define me so that's how i prepared my personal part around 6 uh, 7 questions i prepared like why i want to join merchant navy why i want to be part of most tankers then uh, what uh, what all sports and sports and cultural activities i have been part of what i do in my spare time what are my hobbies etc all those personal questions and uh, as for the technical round uh, i've been pretty sound technically and i looked at a few questions uh, but the best thing would be you know to uh, study mcqs or tell your seniors to take your interview because that really helps to you to boost your confidence and uh, a few seniors uh, they prepared me well they asked technical questions and faqs uh they informed me about and it was pretty helpful so very well said so how many cadets were placed in this company in most tankers there were six cadets including all were toppers uh, they they are for uh, different ranks it's not like uh, the companies as takes toppers you have to have a minimum percentage to be shortlisted for the company okay but after that it's uh, the various tests li uh, topper can be bad at li and pi or there's either there are uh, these are all different skills you know the topper so that's entering the cadets yeah each stage it's your technical knowledge then this your li knowledge then this your interview skills talking skills communication all right so how would you like to sell the present scenario is currently in merchant navy okay uh, the present scenario about placements yeah about placements so the present scenario is uh, it's not at its best that's what i would uh, like to say i mean the placement scenario in shipping line has been very good or i feel see 5 to 6 years back like there were a few institutes people used to get placed easily and there were lots of jobs but nowadays there are, there's a lot of fresh in the market there are a lot of people there's a lot of competition so but you know if you are uh, truly dedicated to this field and if you are made for it you know if you have made up your uh, made up your mind that i want to be in this field and you give your t- give yourself time you prepare you can just give uh, yourself one hour a day and uh, you know to words your academics and it will really help and uh, you know if you if you are good at academics your basics are clear and you can uh, communicate well you can keep on developing basically you have your two years Okay, when you come to the college, you have two years before the company starts coming. So you can really work on your skills. You can develop your communication skills, your knowledge skill set. So I mean, if you if you are uh, dedicated towards it, then uh, you can get a placement easy in much and easy. Okay. So today's final question, Pratik. Anything else you would like to share with my viewers who are planning to join Merchant Navy, especially in BTEC Marine Engineering Department? Okay, uh, I would like to say that uh, Merchant Navy is an amazing career. Okay, uh, it offers a good pay scale. It makes you financially independent at a young age. Okay, and uh, it's a fun job. You get to see the world. You get to go to different ports. You can take off, and uh, you roam around the world. Okay, six months you're working. The other six months you're on rest. You can enjoy, and uh, it's a glorious career. Okay, but uh, there's also the other side of it. Okay. it uh, if you're made for it then it is a beautiful career but it has to be your personality has to be matching with the need of the industry okay if you are too social and uh, you cannot stay away from your family or friends for that long then you obviously have uh, lots of problems with the sea 
okay and uh, there are other things a lot of people when they come to merchant tv they don't ne- re- really know about what they are going to work at okay and uh, for btech the people don't know what exactly they are supposed to do on the ship they used to do they supposed to do the maintenance and all people even after they go to the ship they don't realize what all work they are supposed to do so basically before you come to the uh, before you come to this college or before you make up your mindset that you have to pursue merchant navy you should uh, know about it in depth what all uh, you have to study you know the study if you take a btech it's a proper engineering course so the study is also not very easy if you want to score if you want to get placements so you should uh, keep a lot of things in mind you should study the uh, study the career what all what all it demands what all it involves and uh, then you should see for yourself if you are fit for it okay and uh, don't just think about academics give time to other things okay go uh, go out in the evening spend time with your friends roam around play sports go join curricular activities then do good in academics participate in you know involve get involved with your friends at the hostel there are a lot of things that you should do you can enjoy the course you can enjoy the college and uh, it's a glorious career but you make, you need to make up your mind for it and you do you need to be prepared for all the hardships that's all i would like to say. the doubts of of our viewers are cleared now and if in case you have any kind of doubt you can kindly contact him and i will be giving his instagram id in my description below okay thank you for uh, inviting me sanjay yeah thank you okay prasna